I think that when you see amazing swims, like those world records, um, doesn't matter what the sport is, anytime you see that level of extreme excellence, you are looking at a crazy person. That person has made themselves crazy because you have to become crazy to go through all that suffering and extreme, extreme sacrifice that it takes to become that good. So first of all, we're looking at really great athletes, but we're looking at really crazy people. Let's get that, let's get that straight. 99% of them are crazy. They're so imbalanced. Now, to get really good at a sport like swimming, swimming is hard. It's like about holding a rhythm, an unsustainable rhythm. And you're trying to hold this unsustainable rhythm longer than someone else can hold it. And if you were to try to keep holding it for too long, you'll drown. And you have to get very, very tough to be able to endure the pain that comes with holding this unsustainable rhythm. And then getting tough, you become very detached. You stop feeling. You don't allow yourself to feel the pain. And there's a part of you that does not want to do those things that cause you to suffer. And you have to get such a strong mind that you overpower that feeling of not wanting to do it. So you can will yourself to do all these extreme, crazy, difficult things. And then you going down this road, you're making yourself tougher and harder. Now, when you become hard, you're hard on everybody else. And you're hard on yourself. And when you're hard on yourself, you make yourself suffer more, which makes you get even harder. And you get more and more and more extreme. And you lose the ability to feel the pain. You turn off that part of you that really feels the pain so that you can endure, you can push through. Even if you're injured, you can grind. We've all been there. But you also turn off the part of your mind that judges the pain as uncomfortable, as something that's not good, that judges this as, hey, this is awful. Now, when you turn off the part of you that feels the pain, you're also turning off the part of you that feels the pleasure. When you turn off the part of you that judges if something is difficult, painful, awful, arduous, you're also turning off the part of your mind that celebrates when things are really good. So you go through life living these shades of gray. You're so detached. You're not feeling anything. You're not feeling the bad, but you're also not feeling the good. You're not judging the pain, but you're not celebrating the beauty. You're just like a robot man and you're all a robot woman. You're always in your mind. You're always in the plan. You're never actually in the direct experience. Now, this makes people very sick. And what tends to happen is you're not feeling alive. Maybe you feel alive for, for a brief moment when you've had some type of success. But you're always just suffering. You're not feeling anything. <laughs>